Hi guys, Erin here from My Very Educated Mother, and for today's Crafty Hangout, it is being sponsored by AdTech um, Adhesive. Um, they're the glue gun people, all kinds of adhesives actually, but um, today we're going to be using a glue gun, and I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these really cool no-sew uh, zipper cases. Um, all you need are a couple plastic bottles, a zipper, and a hot glue gun. And scissors. Scissors are helpful. Um, let me switch cameras here real quick and we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, there we are. Okay, um, what you're going to do, depending on the size of your bottle, oh, first you have to cut your bottles. Um, on this one, I cut them kind of the same size. I'm really not sure what we're going to put in there. Maybe pencils. Um, but for this one, um, I'm doing a little lid and a bigger top, or a little top, bigger bottom. Um, just cut off the bottoms of your two liter bottles. That's what these ones are. I think that's a good size to put a wallet and a cell phone in. Ah, I forgot to tell you what these are great for. Or did I? Yeah. These are great for taking to the beach or pool to keep wet hands off your cell phones and wallets and everything else. Um, okay, so what you're going to do, cut them off. Um, all plastics seem to be different too. It's really easy for me to use the X-Acto knife to just cut through these bottles, but these ones are a little harder, so um, be careful. But an X-Acto knife definitely helps with the cutting. Um, once you get them cut, go ahead and get your zipper. Uh, this is what I was starting to say. Depending on the size of your bottle, you're gonna, you might have to adjust your zipper. I'm going to go ahead and Cut this zipper. Let's see. I want it to overlap. I don't know if you can see that. This is a dark zipper. I'm going to have the, the zipper kind of overlap a little bit. So maybe about that much. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that part off. And to keep my zipper from coming apart, I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Can you kind of get it? Just add a little dot of glue onto the end of that there. Um, I thought I had my low temp. When you're working with plastic, AdTech actually has a really nice low temp gun that I thought I had, but I don't. So I'm gonna unplug this real quick. Um, that is really helpful when you're working with plastic so that you don't melt the plastic. Okay, from there, all I'm gonna do, this was the easiest way I found, oops, that's not dry on the end there, sorry guys. I'm creating a bunch of uh, spider webs. Let's make sure. It's not hot anymore, that's good at least. We use those, these uh, nice finger guards also from AdTech. They know me, I burn myself a lot on them. Okay, you can see I'm just gonna lay it out. What I'm going to do is take my glue gun, starting with the, um, not where the zipper tab is, but at the base of the zipper, I'm going to make sure this is flipped um, right side down. So I'm going to put a line of glue onto the wrong side of the zipper. Now what I'm going to do is just roll, let me get my finger guards on just so I don't burn myself roll my bottle along. So I'm just going to keep rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Make sure if you have these nice finger guards, it kind of makes it nice because you can really smush that glue down into that zipper. I'm going to stand up to make this a little easier on myself. Okay, let's see. Well, it helps if you don't touch it with the finger that isn't protected. Okay. There's one. <laughs> okay, for now I'm leaving this flap up, just for now. Okay, but you can see we've created that one. Now what we're going to do is 
can almost fold this down a little bit, or maybe it was. Okay, this time, I can't remember because I thought I didn't. Okay, so now we're going to repeat. I unzipped it and we're just going to repeat on the other side here. Let me move this over here so my left hand is still going to quit being so awkward. Okay. I think I turned that gun off too soon. Put that back in. It's a load of fun today, aren't I? Okay, let me turn sideways here so I can. Okay, we'll start doing this one. Reaching in there with that. Just add more glue. Keep on a going. It's pretty easy. These really are handy. Um, they're not going to be completely waterproof, obviously. Um, so you can't put this in the pool with you. But um, I know whenever we go to the pool, there's, I always have a kid reaching into my bag to grab a towel or sunblock. This will at least, and they're, they're, they're not always the carefulest. I think we all know that. Um, this will kind of help protect those things you don't want to get ruined. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead. I've got just a little bit left here. Go ahead, whoops, and start zipping that back up. Get it. There we go. Okay, almost there. So now I'm gonna finish it off. Get the last part of this one. I don't know if you can see that. Oops. Okay. We could finish zipping it if we need to. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna take these off. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Let me go ahead and glue those. I don't know if you can, here, let me see if I can turn it. Yeah, I see those little, little tabs from the zipper ends are still, those are gonna bug me. So I'm going to just glue them down. Make sure you don't get them on the actual zipper. There you have it. You can finish zipping that up too. Let me move that real quick. There you have it. That one is pretty nifty. Definitely could fit a wallet and a cell phone in there. Okay, let me switch cameras back. It's me again. I want to thank AdTech for um, sponsoring this Crafty Hangout. Be sure to visit craftyhangouts.com for more, um, more great glue projects. And that's it. Happy crafting, guys. Bye.